than Greenville counties, Raven County, Georgia, and all of our mountains under this advisory. And it's for the ice concern that's coming through right now. The system is incredibly large, watching a swath of deep south moisture build into the mid-Atlantic. It's going to aim for areas of Washington, Pennsylvania, New York, with about a foot and possibly even more of snowfall. But for our local region, we're mainly dealing with rain and a little bit of an icy mix. Now, places that are dropping to freezing are seeing this pink on the map. So Brevard, Hendersonville, almost into Tryon and up toward Marion, all dealing with a little bit of a freezing rain coming down. That means it's going to look like rain uh, as it comes down from the sky, but as it coats the surface, it will freeze on contact, creating that glaze of ice that becomes so dangerous for travel. So you might see roads that look wet in these areas, assume their ice and take your time or just don't travel if you don't have to. Here in the upstate, it's mainly just rain. We've seen a couple areas up near Highlands in Greenville County with a little bit of pink popping up on the map. So again, the higher elevations could see that changeover. Most of us though, Greenville, Spartanburg, Gaffney, Lawrence, Anderson, Greenwood, Abbeville dealing with some heavy rain. It's just rainfall. We've got temperatures right now that are well into the 30s in the upstate. Getting a little colder though with some concern. Uh, Spartanburg and Gaffney you're at 34 degrees and we are still watching temperatures fall. So it's going to be a chance that a few of these spots north of 85 could see that change over to ice. Asheville, Hendersonville, Brevard you're right at freezing. You got there about 40 minutes ago. So now is when we're going to watch for that concern of iciness to develop for your travel. As far as potential for ice accumulation it is mainly from Brevard, Hendersonville, Asheville on upwards. Marion also included in this. You get into this lighter pink area, Franklin, and the highest peaks of the upstate. Really just watching for a trace to potentially even just a mix of ice and rain, which wouldn't cause the road concerns. It really would just be too wet to see that develop. So there's good news here for the upstate, but the mountains still dealing with the real issues all the way through midday today. Future cast shows between now and about 8 a.m. We're going to see some of that ice intensive especially for the eastern mountains and the far edges of the northern upstate. Then it will fade to just plain rain in the afternoon, though you might see a lot of it. We're going to see some heavy pockets all the way through the dinner hour, and then it dries out overnight for most of the few snow flurries on the Tennessee line as it all wraps up ahead of tomorrow morning. Highs today get to only 41 degrees. It's going to stay breezy and cold. You have that uncomfortable rain. The mountains you're seeing first ice and then rain with a high of 39 this afternoon. So as we rate your day, the Carolina and a sky meter not looking great. It's a two out of 10. Looking at the seven day forecast, we're looking pretty good after today, though. 49 with sun and clouds tomorrow, 51 with sun on Friday, then into the low 50s over the weekend. You'll see some showers late Saturday into early Sunday.